So this kid's coming at his mom making moose mating noises and wondering why she's scared? Like, this is a horrifying situation. She should be scared. What does a person even do in this situation? Get him neutered? I guarantee you there isn't a parenting guide out there to prepare you for this situation. What's crack a everybody? I know, I know, these days it's just Gordon Ramsay and Dr. Phil, but to be fair, you guys love those Ramsay videos, and Dr. Phil keeps coming out with spoiled children. And come on, you guys heard those noises. This is gonna be a great video. But yeah, no, they've got this aggressive honor student. Like, why'd you bother doing so well in school if you were just gonna throw it away? Not that our public education system is great, but, uh, you know, I mean, please, just update it. Or at least stop square dancing and tell me how to pay my taxes. But yeah, I just thought it'd be a lot of fun to make fun of a super aggressive kid. Let's hope he doesn't find me and start making moose noises outside my apartment. Before we continue roasting though, hit the like and subscribe button because, you know, it always helps out the channel and uh, I want to try to get to 7,000 before the end of the month. The milestone's less than 200 away, so oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, let's go! Let's get to what you guys came here for though and uh, make fun of a spoiled brat. Aiden went from an amazing student, a great athlete, now I don't even recognize him. He's smoking weed, he's lying. I've never been more scared for my life. She's scared for her life because he's rolling the tree, but I'm more concerned about the noises coming out of his mouth. Like, woman, please get your child checked out by a doctor because those are not noises a human should make. The smoking should be the least of your worries. Why are you scared? Aiden was 14 years old when I first saw videos that he was smoking marijuana. You found videos of him doing this stuff? Like, are you just following him on Instagram? Maybe he was posting it on Facebook Live? Aiden, bro, were you even trying to hide it? Come on, man, you gotta be slicker than that. Only send it to your closest homies on Snapchat. He probably posted it to his story like, let's get lit, fam. It's really scary living with Aiden. He started smoking weed and drinking every single day and then became very aggressive towards my mom. Is he exclusively targeting her because she's the easiest or because she actually cares? Like, how dare she does this to her son? I I'm sorry, man. I, I can't believe you got stuck with a caring mom. Man, it's always the parents that make life difficult. Next, we're gonna find out he has a supportive dad. Oh, man, dude, I mean, you're struggling. She's scared of him. I don't think there's been a day in the house within the past, like, three months that he hasn't yelled at her. Dude, calm down. Stop yelling at your mom. Like, show some respect and please change your look. I, I thought you were morgues with brown hair for a second. Is he not a dead ringer for him? Bro, like, get rid of those ramen noodles fast. I don't think that look is what the kids would call, uh, Gucci. Eight times within the past month, the police have been called to our house because of Aiden. Yeah, it's us again. Yeah, no, it's it's the kid again. Can, can you come here? We, we don't feel like being parents. Did they just never send this kid to the corner growing up? It only takes a couple seconds a day to discipline your child. Remember, a grounding a day keeps the parole officer away. Well, I was in his room, saw my diamond ring that obviously he had taken without my knowledge. I asked him about it, and that's when he just started to behave erratically. I mean, he was probably just trying to feel pretty, and you were taking away his one chance. Of course he turned erratic. It's that or he was planning to shoot a music video about having ice on his fingers. Think of it like this. You invest that ring in him right now, and you might have the biggest rapper in the next two years. It's all about the stonks, people. As soon as I pulled in the driveway, I saw the door completely busted open. The window was shattered. There was glass everywhere. There was blood on the walls. There was blood on the floor. And it was one of the scariest moments of my life. Oh my god, do, do you guys see that house? I mean, look at this photo. They have a pool. The inadequate Hulk needs to get over himself and start enjoying life. I mean, look at this place. How can you not love it here? The police ended up coming to the house. They did end up arresting him. I went to go pick him up about a week later. He chased after me again. The police showed up and they tackled him to the ground. You locked the kid in a cage for a week and you expected him to not come out angry? I would be pissed off. But where is all this anger coming from? Have you just like never hugged your son once in your life? Let's hope Dr. Philly Cheesesteak takes some time aside to do that. Watch it be the save all solution. So another domestic battery charge and battery on an officer. If my brother doesn't get help, I fear that he will end up in jail. How is he not already? The cops have been called on him eight times this month alone. He needs to start a life hack channel about not getting arrested, because he's clearly a master of it. I'm surprised this kid isn't locked up like Tai Lung. Like, wh why does everyone refuse to discipline him? What's he so mad about? I'm the only person that he has left, his parent-wise and I'm the one who holds him accountable that doesn't give up on him. Well, Harry Potter and the audacity of you, how dare you try to hold him accountable? You see, being a child is weird. You want direction and discipline, but you also don't want to be punished. Like, punishment is the broccoli on the plate with steak, except you're being force-fed it. Except you wouldn't be forced to eat this broccoli if, you know, you didn't destroy the house and act like a five-year-old constantly having a temper tantrum. Just a few weeks ago, 
there was a really violent incident. It all happened because he wanted to go see friends, to go smoke. And mm -hmm. I said, I really don't want you going. He's like, I'm going to go anyway, but I'd rather, like, know where he's going, like drive him. I said, I'm gonna go look upstairs to make sure you cleaned your room. I mean, if he had a clean room, I would probably be more concerned. I mean, what teenage boy actually has their room clean? I mean, mine looked like a tornado went through on the daily. Like in high school, I associated a clean room with sociopaths. This is probably the most normal thing about this kid. I went upstairs and something made me look over on his bookcase and I saw one of my diamond rings. I said, Aiden, like, why is this in your room? He's like, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what a diamond ring is. What is this foreign object you are holding? I'm truly amazed this kid never got arrested. He can't even come up with a proper alibi. Like, imagine robbing a bank with this kid and you guys get caught and he's just like, money? Uh, I didn't know I took money. Ignorance of the law doesn't save you, buddy. Plus, y you still stole it. Like, why did he even take it then? I, I don't know, guys. None of this seems to be adding up. But I'm going to start wrapping the video up here. And I really hope somebody takes the time to give this kid a good long hug or something. I mean, we gotta do something about this, right? I'm not a parenting expert. I I have no idea what you'd do in this situation. I mean, he's causing mayhem and he's, you know, making moose noises. I I'm not even sure an expert would know what to do. I hope you enjoyed the video, though. If you did, drop me a like and subscribe. I'm also gonna put a Discord link down in the comments below. Anyways, try not to do anything too stupid. Please keep yourself safe. And until next time, this is Thundros signing off.